Good evening, comrades. I'm going to give us back with part 5 of Blue to Russian Overkill, episode 20, uh, 32, Hellbound. As I mentioned before, it was a little uh, delay between the last video because I was busy with work. And make sure my mic's actually on. Okay. But yeah, working for 8 days straight, finally have some days off. Well, 2 days off, but you know, still plenty of time for me to rest. Anyway. Let's get back to it. Once again, fire up the endure avoider. So, um, yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna get a little more money so I can get the motherboard case for Proteus, and maybe the Wi-Fi adapter as well. Might as well get that out of the way. And that means all I need to get is the. Solid straight drive and the OS. Which of course will be You know what? I'm gonna go with go with Windows 10. Oh no, I kept saying before I was gonna do Windows 8, but I'll give Windows 10 another shot. There's not a fresh actual version of it instead of the upgrade version. And I'm also going to get a few uh, five and a quarter inch uh, uh, drives or whatever. And here's the thing, okay, one of course is going to be an optical drive because, you know, sometimes I like to buy CDs from the store or something and burn them on the, in my computer and whatever. And uh, another is like this, uh, this is actually made by NZXT, the same company that makes the case I'm getting. Um, it's basically a little hub that has a few more USB ports, as well as a few other um, slots like for XD cards, um, and a few other uh, storage things. I don't know what they're for, but I figured one has from NZXC, so I might as well give it a shot. And there's also this cool f thing that um, it uses a drive bay, but it doesn't actually connect the motherboard because it's not electronic at all. It's actually a little shelf that can be put in a case. Which, I didn't even know they made those, but... It'd be a cool little thing to have. I can put my uh, flash drives in there, so I know where they are. A bit. All those things together will cost about $60. Um, they'll be coming a while. I'll probably get at least one of them. Next purchase thingy. Okay, I think, uh. I'm still surprised we don't have a quad damage upgrade for the shotguns yet, but, uh. At this point, does it really matter? I'm still curious how long this, uh. episode's going to be. This might be the longest episode yet, because again, I've never played this one before, so I have no idea where things at. And so naturally, you can expect, you know, lots of backtracking and wandering aimlessly, so I need a red key here, which I obviously do not have. Fuck. How's he still alive? Of course, it's Baron. You know what? Still alive. Alright. Short as work time. Apparently that original motherboard I was getting, the ASUS C170A, is back in stock, so I'll switch back to that. Let's so get the case and the Wi-Fi adapter, so it's going to be a substantial purchase, I'm going to say that right now, but, but again, that's why I set aside a little money every week for it.
I'm gonna get back up there because I don't know if I missed something. Nothing else is other than the key. Well, where is the yellow key? I don't, I don't recall seeing one. So that opens the gate over here. Okay. Okay. Oh, give me one second. All right, I'm back. Just real quick. I think I blew up his head. Yeah, nope. Here's what I'm gonna do. Well, I'm gonna bounce back up. I did. Okay, we'll do this instead. And somehow that killed me. So I'll just... That's pretty much what I'm gonna do now. If I die, I'm just gonna resurrect and just give myself a lot of health. Cause the episode drag on longer than I wanted to. So I got the red key. I got an inch of my head. Okay, there's nothing set in stone. I'm thinking about getting a new head. As much as I like the G230, I'll admit that you something that has a better quality mic. But this is a good quality mic, don't get me wrong. It's just, uh... I don't know, when I see the video, it feels too quiet. Even though I max out the microphone boost, it still sounds quiet, so... I'm trying to get a good headset that both sounds good and fits the, uh... color scale I can get my, uh, PC, which is black and blue. All black headsets are okay, but you know, have that's blue accents, you know, it's a plus. You know, the Logitechs are definitely given, but those Artemis headsets, they're just pricey. Maybe when there's a good sale on them. Maybe there's another Black Friday sale, which probably won't be for another, what, six months? Stachinov, Tebish, that's it. Look at this. Oh yeah, this totally did not dawn on me, but today's May 4th, which is uh, Star Wars Day. You know, May the 4th be with you. Honestly, I'm not that much of a Star Wars fan. I mean, I do like Star Wars, but I'm not that huge into it. I mean, I have seen all the movies. Well, I haven't seen The Force Awakens or Rogue One. Maybe I will someday, but I'm not really a big movie watcher these days. Honestly, the only... The last movie I've seen was Deadpool. Against Deadpool. But as far as movies go, as far as movies are concerned, you know, I'm not really that big into them. I do have my favorites, but I'm not that big of a movie watcher these days. Heck, I'm not that much of a TV watcher these days. I mean, I kind of stopped watching TV after Bleach ended. Like the anime, not the manga. With the manga ended like was it November last year. What a hell of a run, even though 
Some people felt that manga was kind of the ending was kind of rushed. Whatever, right? But you know, for what it was worth, it was still a satisfying end. Though I still left a lot of questions unanswered. But anyway, after Bleach kind of ended, I kind of like slowed down on watching TV and stuff. First one of the only shows I watch on TV these days is World's Dumbest on True TV. I like watching that show. World's Dumbest Criminals. World's Dumbest. There's a lot of platforms here, so I'm just gonna do this. Um, World's Dumbest, you know, Daredevils, whatever. They're really fun series. Um, I haven't really seen it lately, but yeah. What is this little trolley? Oh, this is sort of a trolley. I don't think it works though. Nope, it's just there for looks. You know what? I won't get it this way. Get it again. So I just leave you back up here. So let's go down here. I think I am. So I, naturally, I never play a map before, so to, naturally, I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. But do I think I hurt Cyberdemon? There he is. Two Cyberdemons, okay. That explains the corpses. I'll tell you what, you can face the meteors. There you go. Probably about blowing myself up. Of them. What? Did I blow him up there? Okay. I blew him up. Or not. I blew him up. Is that the exit? I think so. Oh, it's up there. Alright, Venom Canyon's complete. Didn't find any secrets, but oh well. I got another backpack. Power station. You made it to the UAC base. You smell the stench of corruption here. First, you will need to bring the power back online. Learn that this base contains experimental weapons. Just the thing you need if you are going to face more Hellspawn. The structural damage seems to be minimal here, but you wonder about the deeper sectors. Alright, so this is Power Station. It's got a fairly sizable map. Pills kind of... In fact, let's switch to that. You got some pills. Okay. Let's do this. Here we go. Yeah, when I'm building the PC, um, I'm wondering, since I got 32 gigs of RAM, I'm wondering what I'm going to do before I even actually install the cooler, what I'm going to do is kind of put the RAM sticks in first, then I'm going to not mount the cooler, but I'm going to like place it on top of the CPU first, make sure there's enough clearance. If you're using a liquid core, then clearance will definitely not be an issue. When it comes to like uh, CPU cores, how's it done? I like how the pills just whiz over its head.
but yeah, um, yeah, um, I'm just gonna mount the CPU core first, see, well, not actually install it, but like, put it, place it on top of the CPU, make sure there's enough clearance for all four RAM sticks, but if there's not, then I'll just use two of the RAM sticks. No, sticks in case there's still plenty of RAM for most games. You know, the amount of round would definitely help with, you know, multitasking and stuff. Who knows, maybe Gary's Mario run even a lot, a lot smoother now. I won't know until I build a computer. I want to say, given the... Given the progress that I'm saving up money, I want to say, hopefully by the end of the month. If not, next month. I might just throw a little more this time around. Because the OS can pretty just get it Best Buy or Walmart. Speaking of Windows 10, um, I read that uh, I know Google made Chrome OS, Google made Chrome OS, I should say. Um, and Microsoft is making their version of it called Windows 10 S, which I heard is kind of a gimped version of a uh, Windows 10. Where it's, for starters, you can only use a uh, you can only use Microsoft Edge as a web browser. You only use Bing as a search engine. I'm not quite sure why, but that's how it is. Very few other features and stuff that. Been Gimped or whatnot. I'm not sure why they're making that, but they are. I think it's mainly for like notebooks and stuff, but. Yeah, I think I'll stick with the uh, regular Windows 10. like changes to the appearance of these uh like testing walls or whatever. Make it look like they're actually moving stuff. Make it look like they're actually alive. Okay, keep going there obviously. something that won't blow me up, like was a shrug. Um, is there a switch? Am I supposed to go in here? I don't think I'm supposed to go in here yet, have I? This is where I came from. I still need a key, so I have to go back a bit. For some reason I'm getting slow now. That's supposed to be like water or something, because that's not a water texture. Um. Uh. Hmm. Have I gone here yet? No, it's just. Oh, I have been here, okay. Um, what about here? 
Nope, nothing here. Hmm. Oh shit, didn't mean to do that. There's a yellow key door, but I don't have any of the keys yet. I'll go back in the main room. I don't know what that switch did. Nothing over here. Going. Yeah, for some reason, I can't open that door. Hmm. Yeah, I need a red key, but I don't have any of the keys yet. I have no idea what that switch did. supposed to go. Am I gone? Oh, oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. It's to be expected, you know. Right, just for the sake of making this, uh, Video, uh, episode not 50 videos long. I'm trying to squeeze at least three levels because they are fairly big levels. And again, I've never played this before, I have no idea where everything's at. So naturally, to be the idiot. But you know, it's to be expected forever. It's do where we've never played map pack before. Okay, blue key, okay. All these keys, I don't have a single one. Please don't this key here. Yes, red key. Oh, fucking time. I see how the door's corrupted and needs a skull key. This looks been crazy at work, so I'm really busy. Today was the slowest day I worked, and honestly, that's not saying much. So we'll single the miles tomorrow. That's in this video. Which explains why we had cupcakes with the uh, red, green, and white icing. Still want to have blood shell? I would have grabbed at least one by now. Yeah, one of the games I'm going to play when I finally get priority is Fallout 4. See how much more smoother, smoother it runs. Gary's mod, see how much more smoother it runs. Maybe Skyrim. Well, the mods are cool. I use, of course. And. A few others, Space Hulk, Deathwing, Ashes of the Singular Privilege. Every game that runs like crap on this computer, I'm gonna try out Proteus. And of course, I'm finally gonna get around to trying out Overwatch. And for those wondering, the first character I'm gonna try out in Overwatch is Tracer. I'm definitely gonna give all the characters a try. Here, go down to the yellow key door.
use regular lasers. sort of annoys me in map design when people use door decals for the walls. You know, walls decals for doors, you know, that only makes sense for making secret areas. I'm gonna mention this. Um, whenever I eventually make a video on my computer, I'm also gonna include some, you know, benchmarks and stuff. Like, not the big ones, like not the big benchmark games, like GTA 5, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Metro: Last Light, because I actually don't own any of those games. But there are a few older ones. I have like Far Cry 4, you know, Fallout 4. Ashes of the Singularity, that's one big one. Now, Ashes of the Singularity is not so much a graphic intensive game, or a graphic a GPU intensive game, much as a CPU intensive game, because. I'll check. Okay, I still have a decent amount of help. Um, because you're dealing with hundreds, if not thousands, of units on screen at once. That definitely affects the CPU a good bit. Oh. That's supposed to be the generator or something? This is a power station after all. Oh, is there anything else I can get from here? It's a huge map. These are huge maps. Also, that's okay. So, yeah, go back to the blue key thing. Hmm. I've been up here. Oh, these supplies. I want a super one. It's not chillax huge, but it's still huge. Like, am I going up here? Let's at least back to this place. Maybe, uh... Look around me, I miss something. Thank you, boss. That's fine. Kill. Huh. I think that'd be kill. I'll almost grab that. 
It's all in here. Okay. So back up here. All are teleporters. Okay, I remember... Wasn't there a blue key door when I got the yellow key? Okay, okay, yeah, 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 it's way over there. Remember what I said about uh, doing three video levels per video of this? Yeah, it's not gonna apply for this one. But uh, part six onward, I'll try. Of course, that means the videos will be a lot longer. But yeah, my videos are already long. Okay, let's do it. Back up here. So, what does that button do? And this is area. Okay. Let's grab that. More ammo. I'll tell you what, that's going to be the end of this video. Encrustation. How big is this map? Okay, that'll be the end of this uh, video here. This is part 5 of Brutal Rush Overkill, episode 32, Hellbound. And this is Caleb signing out.